Welcome to SolidCam Professor and a getting started with iMachining session called Exercise 2, iMachining of a Bracket. This example illustrates the use of SolidCam's iMachining technology to machine the parts shown here. In this video, you will see standard 2.5D toolpaths as well as 3D toolpaths to aid in the complete CNC programming of this part. Like in Exercise 1, the machining will be performed on a 3-axis CNC machine, only this time we will use two setups machining both sides of the part. First, let's open the example solid cam part called imachining1.prz. For these upcoming videos that use an already created cam part, note the example parts were saved using the external mode and have a compressed.prz file extension. The example files will be included with this interactive guide and can be launched by simply clicking on the part name inside the PDF. If you would like to view the CAM part without 3D operations, please launch the iMachining1 2.5D only.prz example. SolidWorks will automatically open with the CAM part already programmed in SolidCAM. We are simply going to show you the operations created to perform the machining of this part. The first two iMachining operations perform the outside shape machining. In the SolidCAM Manager tree, double-click on iRough Outside to open the iMachining Operation dialog. By clicking the Show button in the Geometry branch, we can see that the two chains are defined, with the first being the stock boundary and the second being the profile around the part. The stock chain is marked as open, which specifies the tool should approach from the outside collapsing in towards the part profile. Exit the Show Geometry dialog by clicking Cancel. Switching to the tool branch, you'll see we are using a half inch diameter end mill. We also have a negative 25 thou delta depth, so the tool machines deeper than the part, which is shown on the Levels page of the Operation dialog. We will use the default Technology Wizard settings with a machining level aggressiveness of 6. In the technology branch, we can see that this iRough operation has a 10 thou allowance on the wall. Let's click Simulate and take a look at the toolpath at work. Using the default HostCAD mode, slow the simulation speed down and press play. We can see the corners are cleared first during simulation, and then the entire outside contour is machined. Switch to the Solid Verify tab and press play again. Now we can watch the tool moving through the solid stock material in 3D. Let's exit the simulation and take a look at our next operation in the cam tree called I Finish Outside, which finishes the profile machining of the outside contour. To create the I Finish operation, we've simply used the Save and Copy button that we see here in our current I Machining Operation dialog. Let's exit the current operation and open the copied iFinish outside operation from the cam tree. iFinish was chosen for technology. The copy geometry selections, tool, and milling levels are all used from the previous iRough operation. We will use the default technology wizard settings with a machining level aggressiveness of 6. Switch to the technology branch. Under the technology tab, we can see the wall island offset value is now set to zero and is locked from being changed. Under the iRest data tab, note that the previous iRough outside operation appears in the parent operation combo box. Remember, this means that the technological parameters of the current operation are inherited from the previous parent operation. These three important values are used for calculating rest material. Let's click simulate. First, we'll use the HostCAD mode to view our wireframe toolpath at work by pressing play. Then, we'll look at the machining of our part in Solid Verify. Using the slider, first slow the simulation speed down, and then press the play button. The finishing is performed in a single cutting pass. Now, let's exit the simulation control panel, and then exit the iMachining operation dialog. 